Electric cars have been around for a long time and we can write a big history book on ICE cars and vehicles. But there is a separate group which literally tells that hydrogen powered cars are going to be the future of our transportation. Uh, as the name says, you use hydrogen as a fuel to run the electric motors. So can they really take over in the future while we have more efficient ways of transportation like our electric vehicles? Uh, so watch the video till the end to find out. This is Pawan and I am Sistek. Let's get started. So let us first understand the proper working of a hydrogen powered car. The main components will be a hydrogen fuel tank where you can fill in hydrogen just like how you fill normal petrol or diesel. And then there's a main uh, fuel cell which is the prime mover. This is what makes the energy. And then there is a battery to store some extra energy. And finally the electric motors to run the wheels. The fuel cell is the thing which does all the magic here. More like does all the science. This fuel cell has two intakes. One is for hydrogen from the hydrogen tank and the other one is for oxygen from the air. These two combine in the fuel cell to form energy which is in the form of electric current to run the motors and the byproduct is H2O, pure water. Yes. And this water can be in the form of uh, vapor or steam because it produces heat too when the chemical reaction happens. Have you ever seen pure water coming out of an exhaust pipe of a car? Well, now you can. And these fuel cells are optimized to their specifications according to the manufacturer. So these fuel cells can keep making real-time energy until the hydrogen gas runs out in those uh, tanks. These cars also use electric motors. So they use parts of an electric car. Heck, you can even call it a pseudo electric car. But the energy refueling times for these cars are way too less and efficient than electric cars because they can fill up the hydrogen tank in less than uh, two to three minutes, just like how you would fill your petrol or diesel tanks in your normal cars. So no need to wait for 20 to 30 minutes to get enough range out of your average electric car, even with DC fast charger. In electric cars, the batteries degrade over time. That means you can expect less range numbers, say, as three, four years pass by. But in fuel cells, the degradation is not as fast as electric cars. So they're more like your normal IC engines, just like how they don't degrade as soon as batteries do. So what's holding us back then? Why can't Elon Musk just convert all his Teslas into hydrogen cars? Oh, wait, but... I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrogen cells because I, I just think that they're extremely silly. Um... See, hydrogen being used as a fuel or even as a form of energy is very, very inefficient. So inefficient that even for extracting hydrogen in the first place, it requires a ton of energy in the form of electricity to perform electrolysis. This is a process where you take water and split it up into two separate gases, hydrogen and oxygen, using electricity. And this process alone is somewhere around 75 to 80 percent efficient. And then you take the hydrogen gas, compress it, fill it into tanks, and then the car has to then later on take that uh, gas and convert it into electricity back, and then you have to run the motors. When all this is done at the end, you end up with the efficiency number of just 35 to 40 percent. Comparing this to our ICE cars with similar 35 to 40 percent efficiency rates and then comparing it to our electric cars with an efficiency number of 60 to 75 percent the number says it all this energy wasted from production to consumption is a not so good way for running human errands when it comes to refueling these uh, cars with hydrogen in a refueling station where can we find one well there aren't conveniently enough stations to start with even in a developed country like the US, there are less than 50 stations all over the country. Um, I don't think India has much either. Adding up to that, these cars are fitted with a hydrogen tank of capacity 5 to 6 kilograms, which can give a range of almost 400 to 500 kilometers for a full tank. But what is causing problems for the government and the private companies to fit in a lot of refueling stations around the country? Money. Hydrogen costs literally too much to fill up a full tank, let alone installing a refueling station. One kilogram of it costs around 16 to 17 US dollars. That is around 12, 50, 3900 Indian rupees. So a full tank will cost you at a minimum of 1250 multiplied by five. That is 6,250 rupees. And if that was unpleasant, it costs around 1.5 to 2 million US dollars. That is around 15 crore rupees to set up a refueling station. <laughs> I can't even 
wrap my head around that number. Comparing that setting up an EV charger, where it costs around 80,000 to 1 lakh rupees to set a basic level charger, all the way up to 20 to 30 lakh rupees to set the highest uh, quality fast charger. There is a concern of safety too. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas to carry out in a car if not stored and handled properly. Not saying that batteries can't catch fire, but batteries are way more safer than carrying out sensitive gas in your car. So I really don't know if hydrogen cars are going to be a thing in India because Indians in the first place took a lot of time to get adapted to EVs itself. Hydrogen as an energy source is not really a sensible idea for cars because see cars are meant to be that convenient and fearless mode of transportation without having range anxiety you know where a fear of not finding a refueling station exists. Hydrogen fuel cells are used in many more fields too space missions, industries, machineries and also as a backup power source and many more. But for cars, many of us don't see a future in hydrogen powered cars. Especially when we have uh, electric cars and surely they can't take over them. So electric is the best deal for you as of now because electricity is way more cheaper than a kilogram of hydrogen. So that was a very short informational video about hydrogen cars. And if you guys have any more information to tell me about hydrogen cars, you can let me uh, know in the comment section below. And if you ended up liking the whole video, don't forget to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Pawan signing out.